Welcome back to Pat Jog TV. On this week's episode, we're going to be discussing the history of Alive After Five, Pat Jog's iconic street fair. Hello, and welcome to Pat Jog TV, the show that takes a look at the places to eat, shop, be entertained, and just kick back and relax. All within the village of Patchogue. Patchogue TV. Here we are today with David Kennedy, the Executive Director of the Patchogue Chamber of Commerce. David, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Patchogue's iconic Alive After Five Festival? Absolutely, I'd love to. Uh, Alive After Five started in 2001. It was the brainchild of the president at the time, uh, Vincent Grucci. Uh, Patchog was just starting a, a rebirth and a renaissance, and he wanted to attract people to come down to our main street and see it as it was being reborn. Uh, so those first couple of years, it was very local. There was only a couple of restaurants uh, and a few hundred people. Uh, but as we all know, over the years, Alive After Five has grown. Uh, and what makes Alive After Five special is that the event has grown as Main Street has grown, as the number of restaurants has increased, the number of outdoor areas to enjoy some food and drink and music uh, started to increase. And, and quickly, Alive After Five became identified with the rebirth of Patchogue. So Alive After Five really deserves a lot of credit of opening people's eyes of, to the new Patchogue that was being uh, established. And as a matter of fact, I believe we're the only event to get a special award from Vision Long Island, uh, a Smart Growth Award, to really celebrate how important this event was in establishing this beautiful, vibrant downtown that we have right now. Can you tell us a little bit about the partnership you guys have this year with Long Island Safer Bars? Uh, one of the things Patchogue is proud of is we were the first community on Long Island, I believe in the state of New York, uh, to uh, support the Long Island Safer Bar Initiative, which is a program that was created by nonprofits like The Retreat and Long Island Against Domestic Violence uh, that trains uh, bar staff and restaurant staff on how to identify situations that where customers might feel unsafe or there's over aggressive behavior and how to, how to deal with that. So we've made it a requirement. Any restaurant or bar that's a participating in Live After Five has to take part in that program. That's amazing. What a great partnership. And I know it's such a worthy cause. So people will be able to enjoy the festival, have fun and be safe at the same time. I know transportation has often been an issue sometime in Patchogue. Yeah, I really encourage everybody, if you're coming down to Alive After Five, take the Alive After Five shuttle. We have a great partnership with St. Joseph's University. They are now a university now, uh, and they always let us use their parking lot for people to park. They've got hundreds of places to park there, and we'll have a continuous, uh, two continuous shuttles uh, running back and forth to the festival from five o'clock all the way to 11 o'clock to make sure you get back to your car on time. So be safe, be smart, take the shuttle when you come to Alive After Five. Absolutely, you'll get here quicker and you'll be able to enjoy the fun. And I hear we have a new chairperson this year who's helping us out to make this whole festival happen. Maria Schuring, uh, she is an Alive After Five veteran, having run uh, our music director for Alive After Five for many years now. Uh, she's taken on the role of chairperson. She's been uh, fabulous and, and making this event happen. We couldn't do it without her. Uh, and I, I'm very grateful to Maria and all the hard work she does. Thank you so much, David. Now, let's go chat with Maria. After two years off, the town is super excited to have Alive After Five back. Can you give us a little bit about what we can expect this year? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we kind of le we learned a lot from last year when we did the Sundown Festival. Uh, so we wanted to kind of incorporate some of the family-friendly aspects of the Sundown Festival and the traditional Alive After Five party scene. So uh, being that there are, there are just so many more bars and restaurants on Main Street, we decided to move the, uh, the beer pens and main stages out to the edges. So on the end of each of the ends of Main Street by Tap Room by Whiskey Neat, we'll have large stages with for music and beer pens. Uh, and at the end of South Ocean Avenue by James Joyce, we'll have another one. And uh, Railroad Avenue will be Blue Points. It's gonna have um, that whole street will be like an over 21 kind of area with, uh, with a lot of um, interesting, uh, some entertaining, um, carnival aspects to it. But we'll be having a lot of family friendly activities. The library is going to be having some great stuff. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a combination of the family friendly atmosphere of, that everyone loved with the Sundown Festival and the traditional Live After Five. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement in years past? I believe that you used to always book the musical acts, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So I'm a musician. Um, I do music law. I'm an attorney also. So I do a lot of work with musicians. 
Uh, so I kind of got pulled into the traditional Live After Five, booking some of the bands, doing the contract work. Uh, we did a virtual Live After Five uh, one year, and I just kept doing that. I worked again with the musicians uh, for last year for the Sundown Festival. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of fell into the, the role of chairperson, which is, it's been a challenge this year, trying to combine them both. And after the pandemic, we weren't sure how it was gonna work. If there's one thing about Patch Hog, everyone comes together and it truly is a community and one of the staples of what people look forward to every summer. So I think they're gonna be thrilled to have it back with the Alive After Five brand. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. To find out dates, shuttle information, and more about Alive After Five, visit patchog.com.